As the sun rises over the rugged mountain peaks and desert plains of New Mexico, one can't help but appreciate the sanctuary that these rugged landscapes provide the free roaming wildlife. For those seeking adventure, the untamed beauty found in this wild paradise creates an unbreakable bond between the hunter and the land. Known as the land of enchantment for its unique blend of natural beauty that is welcoming to hunters seeking adventure. This is a place that I've come to know and love through many unforgettable hunts with iconic species. New Mexico isn't just a hunting destination, it's a haven for those who cherish the challenge of the hunt and revel in the beauty of the natural world. Far away from the hustle of civilization lies a vast expanse where the devoid ground welcomes hunters along roads that are carved out of the earth and worn from years of travel. It's a place that I know well, and I couldn't be more thrilled to revisit, this time for a new adventure. As I unpack, I can't help but reflect on the diversity that unfolds beneath these expansive skies, where the land transforms from barren desert plains and rugged mesas into green high country mountains. Here the slopes are clothed in vibrant green pine and fir trees. Alpine meadows host a tapestry of wildflowers and crystal clear streams cascade nurturing the wildlife that thrive in the cool mountain air. It seems like a lifetime ago when I last set foot on this beautiful place with the hope to harvest a majestic bull elk. He's one of those big fives that'll never make a six. I think we'll try and ease right up here and great bull. see if we can catch him. What we gotta do is keep some elevation. Set up on him, I think he's gonna come in closer for us. We'll just let him keep coming, I'm not gonna call or anything. We got him. <laughs> right on. What an incredible bull. He's just a bruiser. New Mexico was beyond anything uh, I ever thought really possible. I can't thank you enough for, for this incredible hunt and, and the management you guys are doing with the, with the land here, you know, the watershed management and, and all the feed and the habitat. This is not your typical elk terrain here. This place is creating a legacy. They're, ensuring the continuation of elk. And what an honor to be somewhere that, that's laying the groundwork for our future. Welcome to the land of enchantment. I am in New Mexico, super stoked this morning. We're gonna be hunting elk 
and antelope this week. It's gonna be action packed. I'm so excited to be here. I have not elk hunted in New Mexico in so many years and I've never antelope hunted here, um, which I'm very excited because this is the state you go to for big pronghorn. And let me tell you, it's gonna be so awesome. I'm so excited. Great people, great camp and a beautiful location. We've got a herd of elk spotted right now and it's really exciting because these cows are with a really old, mature, big five by five bull. Um, he looks like he's a little broke up, but um, definitely the type of bull that we're looking for this week. So I'm really excited that we now have one on the list and we're gonna make a play and uh, yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> Pursue the Wild is brought to you by Ruger and Marlin Firearms. This segment is brought to you by Night Force Optics. Rugged, reliable, repeatable. And On X Hunt. Know where you stand. We got a really nice uh, five by five bull spotted. It's really good management bull. And that's kind of on elk. What my goal is, is to try to harvest a good management bull. So I haven't even had time to build out my data card yet. So I'm gonna take a minute, build my drop sheet, and then um, we're gonna try to hunt this bull. Um, he's down in front of us, as you can see, it's really wide open terrain. So we're gonna use what terrain we have to our advantage and try to get uh, into a position where we can hunt. He's with a bunch of cows. Um, but uh, still pretty stockable. We're gonna work up this bottom and then try to pop over on the bull. But in the meantime, I have to get my life together. So <laughs> I have to build up my data card. Okay, we're ready to go. Well, the wind couldn't be any better. It's perfect. Catch them by surprise. Just keep the wind on our nose. Yeah, we got good wind. We're walking along, uh, trying to get in front of these elk. As soon as I get down in this next bottom, I'm gonna chamber around. We're gonna be kind of getting in that striking zone. We're moving across this top as fast as we can, just cause like once you get behind elk, it's really hard to get back on them and in front of them. So we need to move as quick as we can. The morning's getting late and uh, just try to get in that, in the position and in the zone uh, before they get too far out. Pretty much in striking zone. So I'm gonna go ahead and chamber around and that way I don't have to make a bunch of noise when we get there. Challenge, but that's okay, we'll go. Okay, good.
see him, so I'm gonna have to get... He's know. down, he's down. He just went down. That was awesome. I did not know if that was gonna work because these elk were like over seven, almost 700 yards when we started. And we just, you were so good, point on. Like, let's just work up this fence row and we just worked power pole to power pole until we got in range. It was absolutely perfect. You cow called, Landon cow called these elk in. The bull was bugling and this is, the best an elk hunting you can experience with a rifle. When the bull's bugling, the cows are talking, he called this bull up, perfect shot, 320 yards, easy day. Like, it just doesn't get any better than this. And it's so fun that he's still bugling and running. And, oh, what a beautiful day. Wow, what a perfect day. Oh, man. You know a bull has age on him when his bases are that giant and he's this heavy. I mean, every one of his points are just huge and heavy. He's a perfect management bull. <laughs> so perfect. Hunting serves an important role in the balance of land resource management and responsible wildlife management, ensuring that these elk herds remain healthy and sustainable, benefiting the natural ecosystem and the local communities that are dependent on these resources. The true trophy from this hunt lies in the sustenance provided by the meat. This is the connection to the land and cycle of life that makes hunting a deeply meaningful tradition. New Mexico's landscapes are not just a canvas of natural beauty. They are a testament to the state's rich tapestry of ecosystems and habitats, each offering a unique glimpse into the resilience and diversity of life in the land of enchantment. My journey for Audad began amidst the sun-baked earth, where the rugged mesas and sprawling deserts shimmer under the relentless sun. Here, life persists, adapted to arid extremes. This is the first mature ram that we've seen, and he dwarfs pretty much all the ewes around him. I'm gonna put a 200 yard zero on my gun, and I'm gonna chamber around. We could come up over there in that Ocotillo. I think it would be about 250, 275. I'm gonna circle this way. If I go much farther, I'm gonna have stuff in my way. He's the top ram. Christy with his head to the left. He's 361 yards. What a beaut. Very pretty oh, round. Man. Heavy. Look how big his bases yeah. are. No gap in between his horns. Super massive bases like you were talking about looking for in these, yeah. these older rams. Nice mature ram. They're beautiful. His chaps look like their knees are totally worn yeah. out too from the terrain here. All this rock. I mean they're they're very tough animals. I really appreciate everything this week and it's just been such an honor watching you come up as a guide and now outfitting and it's been a blast 
hanging out with you the last couple of years and we got lots more years in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. We are doing some scouting tonight because the season's not open, so we want to get our eyes on some prospects for antelope. One thing about the antelope here is they kind of have this perfect combination of everything. They have mass, they have length, they have everything. They just, we just don't have that everywhere in the United States. The pronghorn here are just truly exceptional. The desolate landscapes stretch endlessly, their vastness creating a sense of emptiness that fosters abundant populations of pronghorn antelope. The open plains and rolling hills provide the perfect habitat for these swift and graceful animals to thrive. The enduring beauty of the Southwest is a reminder of the interconnectedness between the land, wildlife, and the importance of conservation through hunting. Pursue the Wild is brought to you by Ruger and Marlin Firearms. This segment is brought to you by Safari Club International, first for hunters. Tinks, America's number one buck lure, and Dead Down Wind. Real science, real results. Got a nice goat spotted. Um, so we're going to just basically try to close the distance on him. And he's out with another buck right now, a uh, smaller buck. So we'll have a couple sets of eyes on us, but he doesn't have any does. So it shouldn't be um, super, super hard. But the issue out here is it's wide open terrain and just getting in, you know, like a good shot range, um, especially given we have quite a good bit of wind right now. So... Um, I want to be close because antelope aren't very big and uh, you know, I'd be really comfortable having a good shot. I should be able to get prone, which that'll help. He's far enough out, I can't get a range on him. So we're gonna have to try to make a move, get around, close the distance on him and uh, just double check that he's a buck we want to go after. So pretty excited, opening day. Oh yeah. yeah. We're on this buck. I got a good shot on him and uh, he started to go down, but then he kind of kept walking. So we're just approaching him really cautiously. Um, just want to make sure he doesn't jump up. We're less than a hundred yards from him now. I think it's good to say he's down, but <laughs> like this is so wide open. The last thing you want to do is uh, have one of these run four miles away. So we've just been really careful in our approach, but it looks like we got me a pronghorn. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited, pretty excited, very grateful. It's a beautiful New Mexico pronghorn. Everything that you're gonna look for in a buck, he's got that beautiful heart shape. His prongs are tall, super palmated and wide. He's just a gorgeous buck. We've had an excellent time out here hunting in New Mexico. I just feel so blessed to be here and uh, in a great camp with great people um, hunting the fastest antelope in North America. I mean, this, these, these antelope are just exceptional and uh, 
This buck gave me a great hunt this morning and uh, he's an old bruiser. You can see he's just been fighting. His nose is all tore up and um, it's just a great opportunity to come to the land of enchantment and and get to be in a wild place and experience a great culture and I'm just uh, a little awestruck and very thankful this morning. As I reflect on the desolate beauty found here, I also recognize the important connection between the sacred lands, the wildlife, and the human spirit. Hunting is a reminder of the wonder and majesty found in nature's most remote corners, the untamed beauty of New Mexico, where every hunt is a testament to perseverance, respect for nature, and the thrill of the chase. This has been more than just a hunt. It's been a return to a place where dreams are pursued and memories are made. Thank you for watching this episode of Pursue the Wild. Jump behind the scenes with us for our podcast, Wild and Uncut, or tune into our digital lifestyle show, Our Wild Life. You can stream everything on my website, PursueTheWild.com.